come back from the break and thank you for staying with us. On to GH Startup for today. We're looking at Bro's Barbecue. Now, he quits the Ghana Armed Forces after five years of active service to start up something on his own. Um, though Bro's Barbecue is barely a year old, the brand is fast spreading at every occasion. T today, um, on the Mover segment, we share with you the inspiring story of 29-year-old Shem Mixon Yebois, the brain behind Bro's Barbecue. Shem Mixon Yebois was a judge, the overall best student for course 11 non-technical staff at the Ghana Armed Forces, which spanned from September 1, 2014 to November 29, 2016. He excelled in the profession, which made him earn several awards. Barring out from the service after five years of active service, he turned to another passion which has been in his family for years, which is cooking. Twenty-nine year old Shem Mixin Yabwa is now a chef and feels happy working on his own. The catering business started with my mom as at 1992. So me coming home just around last year gave me or gave us the brothers an opportunity to put the spotlight on barbecue and grilling per se. So we've always had the customers with us. So it's about some of them have been over 20 years. They know the catering industry, when it comes to the mixings, we are in the catering industry. So when it comes to grilling as well, they just transition from one to the other. So it's been there, social media is also there. You know, sometimes we get referrals. Somebody just seeing you on um, Instagram, doing what you do so passionately, just blows the person's mind away. And the way we grill is different. We even flavor our fire. He owns a year-old business called Bros Barbecue, which attends to personal, corporate and group events. So I want to also try my hand on the grilling. And so, hygiene first. Let me start off with the apron and uh, help mixing on the grill. Charlie, what are you grilling? Uh, we've got wild rabbits. Wild rabbits. No, that's a hare. Like, uh, in English people call it hare, uh, that's a rabbit. Okay. And we've got crabs, crabby claw, what we call crabby claw. Mm. We grill our, our crabs as well. Mm. Our bros barbecue, everything goes on the grill. Nice one. And then we got what we call cockerelicky, that's all. Okay. Quarter size chicken legs. Oh, nice one. And then we got nice one. our Mediterranean shivering with pepper crust. Mm. Yeah. Nice one. Wow. It looks nice though. These are grilled pineapples. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just imagining this. Come on. I've not tried it yet, but I'm just imagining how it tastes like. Grilled pineapples, and that's for starters. You're gonna enjoy it. Yo. Yeah. He says I'm going to enjoy it too. Mm. He tells me he has never regretted making the switch, but lauded the Ghana Armed Forces for the skills and expertise gained over the years. It's all about a journey. It's all about adventure. It's all about passion. And I've always been a passionate guy. So whatever that drives me at a part, uh, particular point in time. I make sure I do it and I do it as seriously well. You should see what the military, in quotes, the Ghana Air Force wrote about me. It says everything that I did it and then now I'm okay, so I'm here. So for me, I don't think it's been difficult at all. Coming from where I've been to, coming from the military, everything we were pushed through, everything we did, I don't think it's, it's difficult for me at all. Because the word impossible itself suggests I am possible. But where does Shem want to see his business in the years to come? When I say this, it's been a year and somebody says, wow, then these guys are really making some money. We have a three-acre property, which is meant for a farm and also a bros barbecue establishment. That's a three-acre. It's just by the roadside. It's on the main Doenya Pram Pram stretch. So very soon, we would have a place where you can walk through, point the livestock you want. It will be slaughtered. If you want bros barbecue to grill it for you, bros barbecue will do that for you. On the part of his father, there's nothing as great as working for your own self. Well, we were all taken aback. But then we also had the, the courage that once he has had that military background, she was in a position to venture into any area that she wants to. Um, the military, as I know, is an institution 
that holds itself in high esteem. And with that background of training, that background of solid commitment to the works of the military, she came out and then she started the Bros Barbecue. And with that discipline in him, it's booming. Two other brothers of Shem who are abroad are also working part-time with the brand Bros Barbecue. Aside the barbecue, he, he does punch and this is a business they are warming up to. And so maybe the next few months you'll be hearing Shem punch aside the Bros Barbecue. So let's give it a try. I'm told it's made of uh, apple, pineapple and watermelon. So let's see how it tastes. This is amazing, this is nice. This is so, so nice. There are roughages in there as well. So amazing. He challenged the youth to strive for excellence. If you really believe in what you're doing, along the line you see things falling into place. And then you must be a very religious person. You must always remember to pray. You must always remember to do what you know is right, because I believe you all know that. And believe you me, if you think anything else in this world is easy, you wouldn't be here sitting here. You wouldn't have cars, you wouldn't have TVs, you wouldn't have aeroplanes and all that. So you need to challenge yourself. For the youth out there, I'll tell them, set out your course, you know where you're going, you know the destination. It's not going to be an easy one, but you carry through and then you go ahead with it. There's nothing as interesting than working for your own self. And Shem tells me passion is what is driving him. And so in all your endeavors, you should be driven by passion. It's been a great interview with him. And one thing I've learned is the fact that you should start with the little that you have. Don't wait for a huge amount of money to start a business. The little around you, just start with it. And so, if you're thinking of having any barbecue, just go on social media. Bros Barbecue, just give them that call and they'll be at your doorstep. It has been a great time and it's just a time where we would want to, you know, bite on something. Wild rabbit. Yeah. So I'll catch you on the flip side of life. Yeah. I'm Josh Quinning. I'm black and proud. Yeah, Bros Barbecue, with the essential taste of barbecue, <laughs> our whole man. <laughs> Mm, food business is good business. Well, you're encouraged to take charge of your dreams and achieve them legally. Mind you, achieve them legally. And in everything that you do, don't forget to maximize your potential and maximize your impact. It's not enough that you should just exist.